Now, has this ever happened to you? You hear your voice played back for the very first time and you think to yourself, well, that doesn't sound like me. I sound deeper or more higher pitched or it sounds like I've got an accent and I haven't got an accent. But there it is. It sounds like somebody else and yet it's me. What's going on? It's a common occurrence, actually, that the first time you hear your voice play back, it's a revelation and not necessarily in a good way, because suddenly you hear yourself and think, well, that can't be me, can't possibly be me. I sound completely different. And the reason is because we're listening to ourselves in normal conversation in everyday life. We're listening to ourselves inside out. So if you think about it, your cochlea and your eardrum, which are the receptors for your ears, are buried deep inside your skull. And that means your voice is resonating all around your cranium and it's also resonating around your body and your chest cavity. So this gives a very distorted view from your perspective on how you actually sound. In real life, of course, to everyone else, 99.9% .9 of the world, you sound completely different. And that's because they're hearing you as you really should be. So that's why when you record yourself, you're hearing yourself basically as everybody else does. And that's why it's always a bit of a shock. Now, the thing is that you've got to get used to that. And so the more you record yourself and the more you play it back, the, the easier really it will be for you to accept your voice for what it is. And it's very important in voiceovers because you've got to learn to appreciate your voice as good qualities honestly, it has some, and to come to terms with it, because otherwise you won't be able to listen to yourself. Every time you play yourself back, you'll think, oh, I hate the sound of my own voice. It's absolutely dreadful. And of course, you you can hate your, your own voice, but you're selling it in, in a voiceover sense. So always have a good practice and record yourself, play it back and keep doing it. Even before you do your very first voiceover job, just record yourself, play it back, get used to it and think, well, that's what I sound like. I'm stuck with it. And that's my raw material in a way. That's what I've, I've, I've got to come to terms with. And it's really important to get over that hurdle. Otherwise, you'll just become very, very self-conscious about your own voice. And the more you record, play back, listen, the better it will be. All right. Thanks very much for watching today. Keep practicing. Look after your voice and see you next time.